Hey folks, so you might remember in one of my last videos I showed you a couple of other types of interchangeable core locks, like this Corbin Russwin or this Schlage. Um, but this is something I just got in. It's a pair of Sargent uh, large format interchangeable cores. You might notice compared to the Corbin Russwin, there's a few differences. The locking lug is on the opposite side of the body, uh, and it only uses the two central pin stacks, so three and four uh, to control that locking lug. But I've got both the uh, operator key and the control key, so I can show you how it works. The operator key goes in nice and smooth and just spins around all it likes. And the control key fits in nice and smooth, but it only rotates that uh, locking collar just a few degrees. And that's all it needs to do in order to pull that uh, core out of the uh, housing of the lock. But, you know, hopefully we don't need these keys. Actually, one thing to note is that if you look at these closely, uh, you can see that aside from the first two cuts, the rest of the cuts on the key don't seem to match up at all. And come on, focus, focus. Well, that's the best we can do. So, uh, let's see if we can get this thing open. Uh, we're going to use this bent, uh, thin Peterson pry bar. It's there. I'm going to try to avoid pressing on that locking collar, because that can screw us up with the tension. And uh, we're going to try it with this standard thickness Peterson uh, short hook. So we're going to go in there. Uh, first pin... Gives us a little click, second pin, very small click, pin three, not much going on there, four, not much, five, a little something, and come on. So, six, five, four, three, two, Little movement on one. There we go. Click on one, two, three, four. That's three and four again. Two is feeling very solid. One doesn't want to go anywhere now. It's all down to five and six. I'm hoping I can get your line correct. Because the trick with these is that there are two physically different shear lines. No, so that's not getting us anywhere. Let's see if we do this the other way. Maybe that'll get us a better grip. Uh, let's try this again from the top. Pin one, small click. Pin 2 feeling very tight, pin 3 giving us something, 4 is not doing anything, 5 gives us a bit of a click, <coughs> 6 feels like something, and now we're actually getting a little bit of a false set, so that's encouraging. Let's go back in there and see if we can get something out of 4, there's a nice click out of 4. Go back through the lock, see if we can get anything, see if we can get the camera to stay in focus. Uh, five is giving us a little bit of motion, there we go. Get under the six, and we've got it open. So there we go. Now, let's uh, see if I can get this thing open without spraying little parts everywhere. So we've got a plug follower, and I'm going to use this Schlage key gauge because it has this handy little piece here for removing the C-clip on a lock. If I screw this up, I do have the keys, so let's hope that we don't need that. Now we're going to have to lock this guy back up and see if we can get the C-clip off that way. 
to fight when it knows that it's on camera and it never wants to give up. Come on. See, as soon as you get a lock on camera, it likes to make everything as difficult for you as possible. It wants you to look foolish. Come on. So that's the C clip off. Don't need that anymore. But now we have to use the key. Let's use the operator key here. Turn that this way so that I don't drop pins everywhere. And we've got to turn it a little bit to make sure that we don't drop anything on the floor. And there we go. So let's see if I can move the key without dumping bits everywhere. Nope, we're good. Okay, so chamber one, what do we have? So standard. Standard and a uh, master pin. A very long standard. Another standard. Standard and standard. Okay, now with the same orientation, I'm just going to slowly remove that plug follower. And there's a driver and a master pin. A master pin and a spring. Looks like a driver pin and a master pin again. Driver and a master again with a spring. Driver and a master pin. And okay, so everything in there is mastered. Oh, and there was. Oh, come on. So we've got the locking collar and the body. And then everything else is just standard pins with uh, master wafers and master pins in there. Well, hopefully I can get this back together correctly. But uh, until next time, have fun and happy picking. <laughs>